If two vegans get into an argument, is that still considered a beef? Yes. <laughs> it's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. I'm just hoping for no beef during this segment. It's impossible beef, Jeff. Yeah. Are you sure? Can we can we all agree to go vegan style during what's on your mind? Okay. Where we go around the room and share what we've been thinking about lately, starting with Brooke. Brooke, yep. what's on your mind? Well, I went to my first ever Comic-Con over the weekend. Yay! Oh, and how was that? It was unlike anything I could have ever expected. It was like stimulation overload. Like the sights, the sounds, the masses a masses of people yeah. and i went because my nieces are so into this stuff right cool. so i'm following behind him booth after behind them booth after oh i booth. thought you said booing them no <laughs> so I'm just, get booed, in a real comic you, book you nerds <laughs> so i'm like at a comic con awesome. <laughs> of course book up, yeah. <laughs> so i'm like yeah cool yeah sure do your thing and then finally, they stop at a booth to see these Funko Pops, and I finally recognize someone. What? Oh. It is a child actor from the movie from the late 80s, early 90s, Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. Oh, okay? I, don't, okay. I remember the title. Okay. I don't remember the movie. So they're making a sequel, apparently, or okay. a, like a reboot. <laughs> and this guy, who is now like in his mid-50s, is standing there. I don't even know his name, but yeah. he played the like brother in the movie. Did you recognize him like right away? No, but I oh. saw he had posters all around oh. telling who he was. Oh. Oh. I thought you were a super fan. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> he's asking, he's asking okay. $40 for an autograph or a selfie. Okay. And angry. no one is coming up oh. to buy anything oh, from man. him. Right, because so nobody you, knows who he is. Right, and he's awkwardly standing there, and he looks really excited. So Aww. I tell him, I'm like, I love that movie. My sister and I loved it when we were yeah. little. Yeah. And his eyes get so big. Aww. And he starts yelling at me about the dishes and about mom. And it takes me a second because I'm like, whoa, what is going yeah. on? Yeah. And I realize he's quoting the film. Oh, he's like running lines yes, on you? Yes, yes. <laughs> and he's looking at me to like finish the line. Oh, like, oh, I'm like, okay. oh no, oh no. Oh, That's a lot right. of pressure. And I'm feeling really bad because I'm like, I'm, I, I mean, I watched it when I was 12, but I... You're not yeah. like so... Yeah. And this guy's been waiting it. the entire Comic-Con to have one oh, person come up that actually knows him. He's like, finally, remember this? Yeah, my catchphrase. And so I awkwardly am like, oh, that's cool. And then I went over to my nieces and be like, oh, let's go. Let's you gotta go. Get out of here. Oh, oh. I thought you were to pay for his autograph. <laughs> I didn't. You didn't? Uh, did I? Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, you did. Good good enough, I thought the story was going. <laughs> uh, good yeah. work, Brooke. Well, yeah. Jose, what's on your mind? Well, Alexis and I also went to Comic Con over the weekend to do our segment, yeah. What You Do yeah. at a Comic Con, which you do every year. Right. And she was nice enough afterwards to offer me a ride home in her brand new car. Ooh. Ooh. And I was excited because I've been wanting to ride in it. Yeah. So as we're walking to the parking garage, she says, okay, I think this is where I parked. Oh, no. Wait. It's a big garage. Hold on. Is this a parking garage building? Wait, she I, doesn't know you, if you're in the building. I've never been to this place. It. Yeah. So it was the right building, it. thankfully. So we get oh, into this okay. garage. And as we're pulling out, she cuts somebody off. Oh. And she Can feels so bad about it yeah. that she stops in the middle of two lanes of traffic to, to wave to everyone. <laughs> and say, I'm sorry, I'm well, sorry, yeah. while they're pounding on their horns. There was a lot of honking. Maybe they just recognized you, Jose. Like, oh, my God, that's Jose Bolaños. Yeah. No, she almost hit a car. Anyway, oh. so then we were almost to my apartment. She's supposed to be taking a ride at the light. Yeah. And as she goes, these two guys are trying to walk across the street. Okay. So we have to stop again, blocking traffic. But you stopped. Uh, she stopped. She stopped. Didn't hit them. She did not hit them. They looked scared. Yeah. Uh, but we blocked traffic again. Again, what I'm hearing is a lot of close calls, but I got you home safe. <laughs> and yeah. she so. did. And this all happened within like five minutes because I live super close yeah. to Comic Con. So I don't know why people think she's a bad driver. Okay. I oh. That was a bad she's... day. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting that you apologize in life all the time and then also in driving. Yeah, yeah. It's like, sorry, 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 oh my God, sorry. sorry. I don't know what to say. I'm polite on the roads. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I apologize polite. for that. <laughs> All right, Alexis, your turn. Tell us what's on your mind. Well, I don't know if you guys know, but I started volunteer coaching for a high school track team. I think oh, it's so, so awesome. Yeah. Is this not court mandated? No. <laughs> no, no, it's because I ran it in college, so I wanted to help out. Okay. That's so cool. And my first day of practice was last week. Awesome. I was really nervous. Yeah. I get in there, you know, and I see there's like a lot of coaches. I haven't met them. Yeah. So I'm going around introducing myself and like, 
I'm not getting bad vibes, but they're definitely like a little weird to me, a little caught off guard. Oh, oh they don't know you've been brought on. Fish. They don't know I brought. Yeah, I think so. That's okay. the vibe I'm kind of oh. getting. I'm like, so I come back the next day, and the one coach who I do know, like the head coach yeah. who hired me, is like, hey, I think you need to start wearing this every day, and hands me oh, his no. men's extra large high school, like the jacket oh, no. that says oh, I'm a coach on it. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Oh, no. Exactly. I'm like, why do I need this? And he goes, so everyone thought you were a student yesterday. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Coaches were kind of wondering why a student was going around trying to lead and introduce themselves to them. So now I'm wearing a men's XL jacket around in the meantime. Hey, but you've got authority. But I have authority, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to enforce it. All right. Jeffrey, what's on your mind? Recently, I was talking to producer Boyd about everybody's Instagrams on the show. Oh, yeah. Okay. And granted, I really don't have much of an online social presence. It's not really my thing, but every yeah. week I will scroll around for a couple minutes to look at everyone else's posts okay. just okay. to see what you guys are up to. You're a lurker. Yeah. And producer Boyd asked me, so are you judging them? Mm. You probably are. And I was like, no, I yeah, judge sure. you guys. Yeah, that's and he goes, true. oh, so you like everyone's posts when you see them? No. I was like, no, well, you don't. <laughs> yeah, no. I don't know really. if I've ever gotten a Jeffrey like. But boy tells me I'm passive aggressively Ooh, yeah, judging and it. shaming you. <laughs> and it made me think maybe I'm not doing enough to support you guys. You're not. I didn't know okay. that you were all suffering so badly without my clicks of approval. And that's on me. Okay, we don't really I need own it now. Not like that yeah. intense, well, clearly yeah. you guys are very, very sad without my likes. So uh -huh. I promise from now on, I will be doing sniper likes. Ooh, what's it may that? happen like once every three months, once a year. Okay. You'll log on and pew! I just liked one of the photos of your dumb kids. Congratulations, okay. sniper likes. I not feel like it's gonna be a post from like a year ago or yeah. something. Not even a current one. It's not even a comment. Huh? At least I'm making positive changes uh, in my life as we continue yeah. forward. And okay. we are benefiting from them. Text in seven eight five nine two. Tell us what's been on your mind. It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning.